Hi everybody! So, today's subject, can we turn metal on a wood lathe? And the answer is yes! Uh, remember that uh, turning metal on a wood lathe is extremely dangerous. First of all, because you are holding your tool. And uh, furthermore, the metal doesn't break like wood does. So if you get caught in it, uh, serious injuries can come out of that. Um, that said, uh, I did turn aluminum, works really well. And today I'm going to turn steel. I needed to make a piece like this, which is a threaded rod. And at the end, I machined the tip so I could insert it into that. And there we go, so it can spin freely. Uh, this is going to be a clamp for another project. And so I needed to make uh, two more. I'm going to show you how I did it. Okay, so this is the lathe I'm going to use for uh, turning this... Uh, this rod, a steel rod. Um, so it has a metal chalk on it. Uh, very useful for what I'm doing right now. Um, actually fine for wood, but it actually leaves some markings uh, on the wood because you got less surface uh, biting onto the, uh, the piece you're holding. So you have to uh, put more pressure on it. And what happens is uh, uh, you leave markings on the wood that you're working on. Um, anyway. So, uh, so here's the chuck, uh, the speed here, uh, the speed I'm going to use for this is the, uh, I got three speed, uh, I didn't calculate the actual speed uh, with the tachometer, but uh, anyways, uh, this is the metal speed, I tried it at first um, with the uh, lowest speed right here, but uh, no build up of any temperature on the tool uh, or on the workpiece, so I tried to go a little faster and it works fine. I'm not familiar with the carbide bit, so I'm not sure what is the actual speed I should be using, and therefore I'm not going to attempt the uh, fastest speed on the lathe. I think it won't do much damage, but anyway, it works fine on the middle speed, I'm going to keep it at that. Um, so here's the tool. Um, uh, I didn't invest much on the tool, I bought it off eBay, uh, because of course I didn't know if I was able to turn the metal with my lathe, so, uh, and it actually works really well. Um, I've turned aluminum, like I said, with it. Uh, and, and now I've done one piece of steel right now. And the um, sharpness doesn't seem to be worn off. So uh, we'll see what happens about after uh, two other rods. So I'm going to install the rod. I do not recommend to having it too long of a rod for this di diameter. Because what happens is that uh, you're going to put a lot of pressure with your tool on it and it's going to bend a little bit. So, you know, injuries can happen if it bends, ca catches on your guide or whatever happens and uh, makes you uh, push off and uh, hit your chuck here, which is turning pretty fast and going to hurt you a lot. Uh, so you got to be careful on the piece you're turning. Um, what happened uh, for me uh, actually, when I got to a very thin diameter, uh, this was the perfect height for it and place to be able to turn it. But what happened is that at a certain point, the angle in which is perfect to bite in the material was too close to the angle of it going under it. So a few times the tool would just go under it and I managed to pull it off and... Uh, well, I just made notches on the uh, holding part and uh, didn't seem to be uh, to damage the uh, edge here. But uh, anyway, I got to be careful to not get uh, caught in it. So, um, all right, I'm going to start it up. At first, uh, it's a little tricky because of the threads. Uh, it, the thread makes the tool wander off and it's hard to keep it in the right, right angle and the uh, right speed moving in. So uh, the job looks a little sloppy at first, but when the steel is, uh, the threads are all gone, it's uh, really easy and very smooth and uh, works fine. So here we go. 